Boston. I'm here for upset recovery and aerobatics training. My instructor is none other than air show pilot, Michael Goulian. This is gonna be awesome. Hey, Brittany, how are you? Good, good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome to Executive Flyers. Thank you. You ready to do a little unusual attitude flying? I am. I'm ready to have yeah, some fun. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Come on back. Let's get started. All right. Our idea here at Executive Flyers is after you've gone through an unusual attitude course, that you actually think of stalls and stall practice as one safe mm -hmm. and two fun. This lesson in this week is to get you to understand stalls more mm -hmm. easily and then also recover from advanced stalls and unusual attitudes as you might find out there. So we're okay. actually gonna do unusual attitudes both VFR, looking out the window, we're gonna start them in the simulator mm -hmm. and then we'll transition those into the decathlon. Okay. But then we'll also do some stuff in the clouds IMC in the simulator as well. So Okay, cool. So when we're out there flying, we're gonna do a couple of things. We're gonna do some accelerated stalls where we have the airplane in a turn. Okay. Doing about 100 miles an hour. Okay. And we're gonna increase the pitch rate and increase the angle of attack and increase the load factor mm -hmm. until the airplane stalls on us. And it'll stall at quite a fast airspeed, about 80, 85 miles an hour if we do it properly. So okay. that's the first, so yeah. we're gonna accelerate the turn. Then the other thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna stall the airplane mm -hmm. and lower the nose okay. and as, as we do with a stall. But then, right. We're going to simulate that we're close to the ground and we're pulling the airplane back aggressively to try to miss the ground, mm -hmm. but we're going to do a secondary stall. Right. So now we're going to stall the airplane with the nose way below the horizon. Most right. people are used to stalling the airplane like this. Well, we're going to stall it with an attitude like that. One of the things we talked about earlier is how we recover from a stall, how we're taught mm -hmm. to recover from a stall as a private pilot. Right. And there's two main things. Yeah. Remember what those are? Bring the nose down, yep. power. The throttle mm -hmm. is somehow essential to the recovery of a stall. Yeah, because you're always doing those two things. The it, it, nose down, power. Exactly. And so that they're somehow one, you the, know. Yeah, they're, yeah. One, they're connected, mm -hmm. right? So what we're going to try to do when we're going flying is we're going to break that link. Okay. It's the wing that stalls, the wing that flies, the wing that stalls, the right. wing that flies. So, so that's what we want to learn is how to fly the wing. And that's the most important part of what we're going to do from the visual standpoint. Okay. Is how to fly the wing. Understanding where the throttle is, mm -hmm. where the stick is, and the sound, you know what the angle of attack is and you know how much energy the plane has. Right. And you can think of angle of attack as energy in a way. So if we have some energy left in the wing, we can do things with it. If we don't, we can't, we have to be careful we can't pull on the, right. on the airplane or on the wing so hard. Oh, awesome. I, yeah, I like right. thinking about it that way. Yeah, cool. it's a fun way to do it. Yeah, I'm just excited to get, get started. Yeah, I think it'll make sense and, and I'm excited too. We're gonna have a great day, not only in the sim, but in the airplane too. So let's go for it. All right. All right. So this is the sim room. All right. Cool. And I think you're going to find we're going to we're going to have a lot of fun. Everything that we did in the ground school, we're going to try to duplicate in here. Okay. And then once we're comfortable with that, we're going to go do it in the airplane. Sounds good. All right, let's go do it. Okay, so here we are, runway two nine at the Hanscom. And so we're just going to make a, a normal takeoff. We'll make a, a right turn out of traffic to what we usually refer to as a practice area. Okay. And let's climb up to about 3,000 feet, and 3, then we'll just start our, our visual stall work from right there. All right, sounds good. In any airplane that we, we fly, it has a profile, right? right? So in this 172, full throttle, sea level, thereabouts, between 7 and 10 degrees of pitch is going to give us the best rate of climb. Yep. What we want to do is some accelerated stall work, right? So we want to see the airplane stall. Okay. At an indicated airspeed, that's basically in the green arc, something that we're not used to seeing. Okay, right. right. So let's set our power to a medium power setting of about, let's say, 1700 RPM. Okay. So let's start a, a nice left-hand turn, we're clear to the left. Okay. So add some bank, so we have better, and now add some back pressure. Okay. Oh, here's the one. The airplane stalls way up there at 50 knots, right? Yeah. 
a little bit more power. So, and the simulator does a nice job of simulating that. Yeah, yeah, you can see it. Our biggest safety net is our ability to assess the situation and what might happen in case something fails. That's the way we always right. think about it, right? Is right. If something fails, how do I fix that? As we start to increase our boundaries or stretch our boundaries, yeah. we have to increase our awareness of the systems of the airplane mm -hmm. and how the systems can affect the performance of our flight either in a positive or negative way. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Yeah. You ready for a decathlon flight? Yes. Let's go do it. I'm ready. All right. Ready. Let's go have some fun and turn it upside down. Good morning. Hey, welcome to Plymouth. Thank you. Yeah, so this is the home of Gulian Aerosports. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, I figured if we're going to do some unusual attitude flying, we might as well get in the spirit and have all of the aerobatic and the racing airplanes around us here. So Yes, this is so cool. I'm glad to be here. Let's go get ready to do it. Level flight attitude is about just like that. So if you look at the okay. left wing, look at the left wing and the right wing, yeah. and just match it up to the horizon or whatever horizon there is, okay. and that's level flight. Okay. Or 3,500, add a little bit of forward trim. So now to fly aerobatics, okay. yeah. you should have a little bit of forward trim. So when the airplane is upside down, you don't have to push so hard. Okay. Right? So one of the things that aerobatic flying does is it teaches us how to manipulate the flight controls, right? And when you talk to somebody about adverse yaw, they don't understand it. But when you fly an airplane like this, when you apply left aileron, the nose goes to the right. When you yeah, fly see. right aileron, the nose goes to the left. Yeah. And then, uh, well, guess what? So if you start to use the rudder, you'll notice now the nose stays straight. Yeah. So any aerobatic pilot will tell you that we have adverse yaw only when the ailerons are deflected because that's what causes adverse yaw. And it's just very apparent in the decathlon like this, so it's a nice way to learn. Right, yeah, right? I see it totally off my nose. Yep. Yeah. Okay, you're a machine. Okay. Go ahead and nice and smoothly and gently bring the power back to idle, and we're going to do those power off stalls we talked about. All right, power coming back. Now our goal is to just start to raise the nose, huh? and we're going to stall the airplane, and we're, remember, we're not going to actually use the engine to recover on the first right. one, just going to fly the wing. Okay. So stick all the way back. Stick back, there's the stall, nose forward, good, hold the airplane, support the airplane, let the speed go, now, good, now back on the stick for me. Okay. So there's stall number one, let's do another one. Okay, bring, bring that the stick, stick back. back, yep. This time try to hold the wings level a little bit better, use the rudder. Nicely done, a little perfect. Now hold it. Beautiful. Look how that one was perfectly straight. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now this one, we're going to stall again, but this time when we get to about 80 miles an hour, then putting the stick back and stall, I want you to get me into a secondary stall and then recover. Okay. There's the stall, nose down. Now pretend we're getting close to the ground. Okay. Here's 80 miles an hour. Pull the stick back hard. And the airplane starts to stall on us again, right? Yep. Very nicely done. Good. Power on up. Nice and smooth. Power up. Beautiful. It's the wing that stalls. It's the wing that flies. It's yep. the wing that stalls. It's the wing that flies. Yes, the throttle is going to help us recover our forward airspeed faster, but it's not the thing that helps us with the stall. Okay, So when yeah. the stick is back, we have a high angle of attack. When the stick is forward, we don't. There's just no way to break that connection, okay. and that's what we're teaching. Okay. So another thing that people don't ever really get to experience is what is real buffet? Okay. Right? So we're not going to worry so much about the altitude, but I'm going to slow the airplane down. We're going to raise the nose. And now as we get here, Behind the power curve, I'm going to add a bunch of throttle. 
And now you're going to feel that the inside part of the wing is starting to stall. Can you feel it nibbling yep. on your hand? Yeah. So that's the buffet. And now our job is to kind of hold the basketball on the head of the nail. Ooh, okay. Right in here. And so what we're doing is we're just fighting. Look at that. We're way below our, quote, stall speed. Yeah. Only doing 45 miles an hour. And the inside portion of the wing is stalled. And the outside portion is still flying, so we have a little bit of aileron control. Right. So now, we're going to have a little fun. All right. What we're going to do is a roll. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, lower the nose. Give me about 140 is a nice number. That gives us plenty of okay. wiggle room. Okay, good. Let bring the nose up. More, 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 more. Good. Neutralize. Pull left aileron and left rudder. Go. Beautiful. And around goes the horizon. Now as it comes back up, neutralize the controls and raise the nose. There you go. Not uh, so bad, right? No, it's so fun. Yeah, I mean, you almost don't even know that you're upside down, yeah, right? It's, it's not a big deal. Yeah. It's see, the thought of it is worse than actually doing it. Doing it is so fun. So let's say for whatever reason, somebody got in some wake turbulence. So here we are, right? So we <laughs> lower the nose and unload and roll to the closest horizon. <laughs> Everybody has wanted to do a loop in their life. <laughs> We're about to do one. So line me up parallel to the highway. Okay. Okay, wings level. Yep. Perfect. Give me about 150 miles an hour. I'm going to give you a little forward trim. There you go. All right, there's Perfect. 50. Okay, so like we talked about, bringing the stick straight back. You might want two hands on the controls. Harder, harder, more. Now looking at the left wing. See the horizon yeah. coming around. Now look out the front and release a little bit of the back pressure. Very nice. There's our horizon. There's our highway we started on. Keep on pulling nice and gently. Keep on going. Beautiful. Okay, loop number one in Woo! the logbook. Wow. Nice work. Next thing we're going to do is one of my favorites, a hammerhead. And the first portion of the maneuver is just like a loop. It's just a quarter of a loop up into the vertical. So. There's 145, there's 150, we're going to go to level. Now we're going to pull, looking at the left wing. Okay. Setting our sighting device, that star, on the horizon. Okay. And right as we slow, left rudder, right aileron, forward. Now we're looking straight at the ground. <laughs> and then we pull it out. Woo! That is fun, right? Yeah. Wow. That's my favorite. You can climb on up to 4,000. We'll do a one-turn spin this time. Okay. All right, we're way up at 4,000. That's yep. nice. Okay, yep. so bring the power back to idle. Power back to idle. The nose comes up. Nose comes up. And now we're going through 80, 70, 60. Right here, full right rudder. Stick all the way back. Airplane stalls. There's a half a turn. We'll do one and a half. There's one. Now left rudder and one and a half. And then recover. <laughs> Nicely done. The first thing, the lesson about flying inverted is you have to trust the seat belts. Okay. So nobody wants to trust the seat belts, but you have to. It's no big deal. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, put your hands on the controls. Just okay. like you're going to do the normal roll. Okay. We're just going to pitch on up. And we're going to roll. And we're going to stop upside down. <laughs> That's kind of fun, right? Oh my gosh, so cool. <laughs> and then upright. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then we can go home. Oh, nice work. Yay, thank you. All your airplane. All right. Stop smiling. Yeah, it's really fun, right? Yes. Today, totally rocked. Getting specialized training in upset recovery and aerobatics was so much fun, and it was a great way to understand the airplane's envelope and performance. Next, I'm off to California to learn how to handle in-flight emergencies.